Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum as well as DVD Architect. And here we are in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum 16 looking at some of the new features in the program. One feature, actually a feature set that Magix has spent considerable time and energy on is a set of tools for working with 360 video. Now 360 video is video shot usually with a special camera or a special lens that is video that completely surrounds the viewer. Now quite often the viewer can be wearing VR goggles or at least on social media sites can actually just be kind of browsing through it but they choose where to look the video completely surrounds the viewer now i've got a couple examples here of 360 video this is a 360 video camera uh, this is an inexpensive one costs around 70 dollars you can spend upwards of 500 and more for a good 360 camera but this one does the job and as you can see it has a lens on each side now I've got some of this 360 video here in my project media window and I'm just going to drag one of them down to the timeline. When you do quite often you'll get a little note here from Vegas Movie Studio saying hey this is not typical video do you want us to change the project settings to match your video I always say yes that's always a good idea and in fact I will actually go over here to the cog at the top of the preview window and come in here and make sure 360 output is selected that will ensure that what you see in the preview window is in 360 format now you can see that it is very low resolution in my window I'm going to set the window resolution way up to best full and here you can see that when it's in 360 mode I actually can click and drag across here and look in any direction now if you look at the media here in project media you can see it looks like a little Mercator projection here you actually have two separate videos one shot by the front lens one shot with the back lens these are fisheye that means extremely wide angle so each one is capturing like 180 degrees of a 360 degree circle the program then combines the two into a single video and sometimes you end up with something not quite matching up on the seams I'm gonna drag over here you'll be able to see where the seam is between the front and the back video there it is right there so it's not a clean match fortunately the program includes a tool for fixing this if you just go down to the I'm gonna to go to the event and click on the FX button open up the plugin chooser and the tool I want is something called dual fisheye stitching ominous name isn't it we'll add that to our clip and that automatically fixes a lot let's see if we can find that seam again just clicking and dragging there we go and there's where it doesn't quite match up now if you look over here at the video effects dialog window you can see I have field of view as one of my options usually field of view will make that adjustment so we can match up that stitch there it is that's pretty good that's never going to be a perfect match at least with my camera but that's good enough so that the viewer can look 360 degrees around and see whatever he or she wants to look at. And again, if I output this video and you watch it in VR goggles, wherever you turn your head, you'll see completely around you. Now, this is live video. This is not a photograph. You can stitch together photographs a lot of times with pictures you take on your phone, stitching a bunch of photos together. You can even get special lenses for your phone that'll shoot these two 180 globes and then combine them or stitch them together into a 360 video for your phone but this is actually a very intensive process now if I were to for instance set my view here in my preview window to best auto you see the resolution of the preview degrades a lot and if I try to set the resolution higher I'm not going to get a very smooth play when I play my timeline don't worry about that it's all for preview now, I've got a fairly robust machine it's an i7 and it's got a decent sized GPU but processing this 360 degree video can be pretty intensive for the program don't worry about it when you output your video it will look just fine now to output it just go to the project menu and select render as and the program is only going to give you options in this case the magic HEVC mp4s it's only going to give you options that create a 360 degree video now these all say internet on them you can see you can go as high as a 4k video a 2k like a 1080p 
uh, is not a lot of resolution when you're dealing with an entire globe of video. So I usually go for a 4K output. And here's the end result for my video. As you can see, we can look wherever we want here. There's action in the video. Actually pretty cool. Now, if you want to know more about the great tools here in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, I hope you'll check out the tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about this program, check out the moviepix.com guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum, as well as the moviepix.com guide to DVD Architect. They're available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.